Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to prove that if a plus b plus c equal to 0, then a power 3 plus b power 3 plus c power 3 equals to 3 times a, b, and c. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. So let's get started with the proof of this given problem. And in the very first step, I have put down a plus b plus c equal to zero from this part from our question. So a plus b plus c equal to zero. We want to isolate c. That means a and b must go on the other side so that means we ended up with c on the left hand side when you move a on the other side become negative a and likewise b is going to become negative b and now i'm going to factor out negative sign so this is going to become negative a plus b and on the left hand side is c and this is i'm going to call equation number one and in the next step, this is what we have to show that this a power 3 plus b power 3 plus c power 3 equals to 3abc. Let me just go ahead and write down the left hand side of this that we need to show. So I'm going to write down the left hand side as a power 3 plus b power 3 plus c power 3 and over here this is what i am going to do we know that c is i'm going to replace c from this equation number one so this is this expression is going to become like this way i'm going to change it a little bit differently so i'm going to write down a power 3 plus b power 3 plus we know c is negative a plus b power 3 so right now you can see that this a power 3 b power 3 i just put down in this bracket plus i replace this c by negative a plus b these are very crucial step and now in this bracket this sum of two cubes I'm going to be using this well-known fact a cube plus b cube is always the product of a plus b and then times a square minus a b plus b square so I'm going to go ahead and do that when I can write this one as a plus b so this is equal to by the way this is equal to like this way a square minus a b plus b square and then on this one the second bracket over here since we have a negative sign and we have a cube that means it could be written as minus a plus b power 3 so in the next step this is what we are going to do i can write this one over here as a plus b of course it's going to stay same a square minus a b plus b square minus this power 3 could be written as i can write a plus b times a plus b square and here you can see that I can factor out this part a plus b and a plus b over here if I factor that one out so let's do that one a plus b if I factor this one out so we are left with simply a square minus a b plus b square minus a plus b square and then bracket close and now i can open up 
this part over here by using this well-known fact a plus b squared is always equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so let's finish that thing off so i'm going to put down again everything else is going to be same a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square make sure this minus is outside so this by using that factor this formula i can write a square plus 2 times a b plus b square and then bracket closed let's move on further more now you can see over here uh, let's do this one over here still we have a plus b outside and over here a square minus a b plus b square let's open up this parentheses be careful since we have a negative sign outside so this is going to become negative a square minus 2 a b minus b square let's uh, see what cancels out you can see this a square and minus a square this is gone plus b square minus b square is gone so we simply ended up with a plus b is still outside and this we ended up with negative 3 a b so far so good now this negative sign i'm going to move it in the front i can write as negative a plus b times this i can write simply three times a b and now we know that minus a plus b is equal to c from our equation one so i can replace this one as c times 3 a b which is same as 3 times a b c isn't it this is same as our right hand side thus we have proven that this a cube plus b cube plus c cube on the left hand side is equal to 3 times a b c which is the right hand side and here is your assignment now can you do it on your own you can take your time luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye bye